the hero journey archetype is like the 50s progression of stories. So many stories and so many different genres use the same pattern of storytelling, and as people who like stories, we like this method of storytelling even, you know, if we don't realize it. Much like the way we like songs with a specific progression of chords, even though we don't realize that, you know, all of these songs follow the same pattern. So, crash course in the hero journey, which means I'm skipping some of the steps in the interest of time. The hero journey is separated into two worlds. There's the world that the protagonist knows, and the world that the protagonist doesn't know. At the beginning of the story, we meet the hero, and he or she is called a to adventure and sometimes refuses. Then something happens that makes the protagonist leave their known world, like the murder of Mufasa, or Luton's uncle, or escaping from the police to keep from being unwound, or being taken away from parents and placed in foster care. In this new world, which is sometimes a physical place and sometimes a change in a state of mind, the protagonist is tested. Think about all of those things Harry had to go through before he faced the Foldy site and the Philosopher's Stone. This step is the belly of the whale, the heart of darkness. Essentially, the point in the story where the hero thinks his task is insurmountable. The hero comes out of this ordeal, does some other stuff, atones with the father, and then returns home. I will leave a few links to more information about the hero journey in the blog post for this video. I think what I like about the hero journey is the pattern. I love to see how authors both adhere to and deviate from this pattern, and, you know, humans like patterns, so this makes sense, right? Hi dog. My favorite hero journey is Star Wars. I have a poster in my classroom of the Star Wars heroes, and am slightly miffed that Anakin does not appear on this poster. Because what I love about Star Wars is how it fits into the hero journey. That is, if you take the original trilogy, okay, 4, 5, and 6, Luke is clearly the hero, and he fits both into the archetype of the hero and the archetype of the hero journey. But if you look at the entire story, that is, from 1 to 6, it's clearly Anakin's journey, who also fits the archetype of the hero. In terms of books, I think my favorite hero journey right now is Unwind um, and that series by Neil Shusterman, primarily because the characters um, each have their own hero journey that they embark on. And after reading Unsold, I'm really excited to, or after reading Unholy, I'm really excited to see Cam's journey in Unsold. So my question of the week to you is this. What is your favorite hero journey, and what do you love about it? Leave your thoughts in the comments, and I will see you next time. I am the supplier, wishing you happy reading. Don't forget to be awesome.